Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to add numbers that you have inside one array. So in this case, I'm going to get the result 430. Okay. So I got one array here and I got one list here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a variable called P1. So this P1 is going to be related to my project one. And then I'm going to call my project one. And there's this method called sum. This is the one that you're going to use to get the sum of all of these values inside the array. Okay, let's just create a different variable. Let's just call it P2. And I'm going to apply the same method. So sum. All right, perfect. So we're done with the arrays. Now we're going to do something similar with the list. So let's just create a variable and let's just call this P3. This is going to be related to my project three. And this is going to be equal to my project three dot, and there's the same method here. So for arrays and list, you got the same method, sum. All right, so I'm going to do the same with my other project. I'm going to call this variable project four. I'm gonna call my project right here. And then I'm going to add my method, which is sum. All right. So I'm pretty much done with this. The next step is to actually print those values. So I'm going to print those values here. So I'm going to call these results and I'm going to console right line my first result. So I'm going to go to the array and I'm going to print my project one, which is really my P1 variable. So I could do this. I could just print a comment saying this is the result for project one and then I can add the zero in a curly brackets and then comma and I'm gonna call my P1 so this is going to be my project one which is in one array I'm gonna control uh, I'm gonna hit control C to copy this I'm gonna paste it three times and the only thing I'm going to change here is uh, the name of the project. So project two, project three, and then I got project four. And then I'm going to print different variables, which is P2. Then you got P3, and then you got P4. All right. So if I run this application, I should be getting four different numbers, which are basically the results of adding those numbers from those arrays and the list. So in this case, I should get 600. So let's just run this and let's see if it's working or not. Okay, let's just give it a second and we got the cash flows in the project. And I got 430, 380, 600. So that's perfect. Um, I would like to add maybe um, a dash here, maybe a colon, cause it looks like you get confused between the numbers. So let's just do that right now. So let's just add this colon here. Okay, perfect. If we run that again, we're going to have a cleaner message. All right, so this is the result. And then you get the 430600 that we already mentioned here. So, so far is working. And no matter if you're using an array or a list for this scenario. So what I'm going, to build here is uh, an application that has to add these numbers 
So I'm trying to decide right now, like if I should use an array or a list or an innumerable, which we're gonna talk about that later. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to sum or how to add the numbers inside one array and one list without having to type a very long algorithm. So I hope you guys like the video and enjoy it.